Hey traders, Sean Kozak again, checking in with Neural Street Trading Academy. And what's with the volume, right? Like these markets aren't moving, chop and slop, everything's been a little bit tough for follow through. If you're in our trade room today, or if you've never been with us before, we trade global futures markets. And one of the things that day traders need to be able to expect follow through is volume. Volume equals volatility. The more traders on the big boys, like the institutions, the banks, the hedge funds, all those guys, if they're not participating at a high level, then day traders like you and me, we're at the mercy of really slow markets, grinding, you know, oscillation, not getting any follow through. So one of the best things to do in situations like that is to have a proven strategy. Uh, one of the comments made in our trade room today was, even in times where most traders face drawdowns, we're still making money. And that's a pretty bold statement, but it's a true statement. And if you're in our true, if you're in our trade room today, uh, you'll notice that I took a lot of trades because we've been doing a different approach with regards to the way we enter trades. Uh, over the past couple months, I've been teaching traders how to trade first touch levels. And over the past couple days, what we've done is I've transitioned to teaching traders how to time confirmation entries. And so what that means is we're still able to teach you how to trade a uh, bigger picture context, but with smaller stop losses for more of a scalping approach. So if you wanna learn how to day trade and you wanna keep your capital in check, uh, you're definitely in the right place. I'm gonna go behind me now and share with you some of the trades I took on the charts because I think it's really important that you see the trades, you see the money that was made. And I talked to you a little bit about some of the things that we took uh, uh, to, to, to heart in the trade room, right? It's very important for us to be aware of the things that are critical, more importantly, what not to do and then when to execute, right? So hopefully you can learn something from this video. Uh, follow along, click below if you haven't done so already and I'll see you in the trade room bright and early tomorrow morning for another day trading session with our academy. Take care traders, see you tomorrow. All right traders, well, uh... Let's get into the charts here and take a quick look at uh, some of the trade setups that took place. What was really interesting is the markets really didn't open up with a lot of movement or follow through. Real quickly, let's just go through these markets. It was very, very sideways uh, for the most part, and then they dropped it uh, coming in after the crude report. So that's really what the big message was today was that everything was waiting on that crude report. The ES dropped down into weekly areas. The YM didn't really move much. The Russell came down into these weekly areas and lifted very quickly. The, the NASDAQ did as well, and uh, you'll see the NASDAQ came right down into a weekly level, which was a key area of support, and I took that trade coming out of that area, so we'll talk about that in a moment. Crude oil, we weren't trading it because of inventories. Gold, I actually took two shorts on gold. Both trades were winning trades. I shorted going into this huge up push, and following the rules to our strategy, we were able to stay away from getting stopped out, which was fantastic. And the euro never gave us any movement. The euro never did give us the follow through in that time. So what I'm gonna do is I just wanna go in and actually take a look at some of these trades. Let's go into the ES. I took a stop out on the ES on the first attempt to trade the lift off the break of structure um, we tried to get it over here and they it just didn't lift so this market didn't lift here actually it was right here there the first attempt for me to get that trade I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna sh I'm gonna add these uh, on this chart okay and we're gonna we're gonna take a look at that so over here you're gonna see that I took the first attempt coming in right out the open and uh, I took a break above structure and they came by and they stopped me out and then they just rolled the market over, which is fine because if I'm going to get stopped out, I don't want to get a big loss. I want to be out of the market for a very small loss, right? And then what ended up happening is I ended up taking the, the next trade long over here on the break of structure, came up and took my target here. So I made back some of my loss. I only ended up down negative $75 on this market, which to me was a really great opportunity to scale back some of those losses, okay? Now... And uh, one of the things that uh, I'm going to point out here is um, is uh, the YM, I didn't take trades. The Russell, I didn't take trades because of the structure. And the NASDAQ, which was really where I want to... Uh, actually, that's my mistake. The YM did give us a trade. I'm going to go in and I'm going to add this in here. Let's go in and take a look at this. 
Okay, and uh, let's take a look. I took a nice scalp long off the YM, and it was a textbook trade. We came in. It was really, really clean. We broke above the structure, came back, retested it, strong momentum, wrote it up for a quick scalp. was a great place to take a target. It was a market profile target, and then ultimately the market dropped back down, which was a really, really great exit strategy. Okay, so let's go in here and take a look at the NQ because the NQ, which was what gave us the, uh, which was what gave us some of the trades here again, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we're going to. Um, take a look at some of these trades here. So I ended up taking nice long on the NQ down here, which was a really nice structure trade. You'll see here that what ended up happening was it was a break of structure, came back, retested. I didn't enter on this retest. I waited for the market to show me that they were really going to lift it with a change in momentum. That's really what my decision was. It was a little bit of a patient play and it played off because I ended up catching the entire leg of that move and then it tanked down and then the market just went sideways, okay? But what's also important to understand is that I actually took the next trade over here, which was a stop loss, okay? And uh, basically, this is a stop loss here. I, I played the same play. It was off a weekly level. They came down, took my stop. They tanked the market, which put me back into the red. And then I took the next trade on the retest right here, which is just getting back into the market. And then I ended up taking T1, and then I got stopped out on the runner, right? So the other two trades I took on here was gold. And the gold trade was just, this just massive. This market was just on fire uh, today. Huge, huge, uh, huge, huge rally in the gold market. You're going to see that I ended up catching both of these pullbacks. Uh, what was nice about this was uh, this pullback. Uh, actually, I got in a little early over here because I was on a three tick bar. When we switched to the four tick bar, the better entry would have been right here with a stop above structure. And you're going to see that, that I ended up taking that entire trade out. I got the entire leg of that entire pullback, which was nice, which is a great place to close out for the runner. And then I ended up taking the next short here, which was a little bit uh, of a jump because I was trading on the three tick bar and then I updated to the four tick bar. But nonetheless, I ended up catching the momentum leg on the three tick. You get the structure break on the four tick. We didn't get it. So ultimately, uh, that being said, it was two back to back wins on the gold trade. And then we ended up getting another opportunity up here, um, right up here, but it wasn't really in our areas for trading. So it was something we just didn't participate with, right? So one of the things I did over the past couple of days was uh, I took a very, very big change in the way I was executing trades. Some of the traders were asking me to show scalping. Some of the traders were telling me to show confirmation entries, momentum trades off the levels, and that's exactly what I did. So I ended net positive $300 profit for the day after several trades, trading one and two contracts, right? Uh, I worked for two to three hours in the morning to do that. And uh, ultimately, uh, you can do that too. So if you're interested, click the link below, subscribe. Make sure you join us. Go to our website. Let me show you where you can do that here. You can go to our homepage at neurostreettradingacademy.com, nstradingacademy.com. And uh, we're running a BOGO sale at this time, which ends today, which is interesting. And then ultimately, if you want, you can just click on the free pass, join us, and then we can get in touch with you and do a demo for some of our software and some of our strategies. All right, traders. So take care. I hope that you, uh, you enjoy the videos. And if you do, like, leave a comment, ask questions, and we'll see you live in the trade room tomorrow morning. Have a good day, guys.